Hey, good Friday, uh, Magnolia morning to you Magnolia fans out there in the world. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Um, I'm here um, for the Friday um, edition along with Letty um, for uh, the Mega Magnolia March event. So, um, yeah, we have a ton of sponsors, um, so check everything down in the description box down below. Tons of prizes. You guys have got to get on the ball and win some of this Magnolia goodness. Now, my channel is sponsored by the DIY Boutique Supply, and that's my best friend, Pam. Um, she has a store full of bling. I mean bling. I have a ton of it and um, I'm lucky to be her BFF. <laughs> so um, if you would like to be entered to win the $25 gift pack of bling, um, please make a comment, um, like the video, and then go to her Facebook page and comment and like her Facebook page. And I will pick um, a random winner for that. Um, if you are an international winner, you will be responsible for your own shipping charge, but you will get the $25 um, pack of bling. So please be aware that international is welcome, um, but you will have to pay shipping um, on the prize. So without further ado, today I created um, something different. I don't have a card for you. I have something else. And it's actually two something else's. Um, I'm going to actually start with this. And this is just a little baby mini album. And it's for a birthday. I used this Recollections paper. I don't remember what it was. And I used these Recollections um, paper bags. And they already came punched like this. They have them in white. And they have them in a, a grouping of pastel colors. So I colored up my cute little Tilda, which is basically um, just jumping and happy and wishing this person a happy birthday. Um, I have um, the brand new um, Zutter Bow It All version 2 tool I just got. So I made up this pretty little bow and I used some shabby peach trim on the back there. And then it just opens up um, magnetic closure and it opens up like this and I have another tilde in here now I'm gonna tell you um, these bags are four and a half or four and a quarter inches um, so I decided not to put any um, um, photo mats in here because the photo itself will actually slide very nicely in there. Um, I did put a photo mat here with a little lace and trim on both sides. Um, my little tilde is popped up so that, let me just show you the photo, will go back behind her. So that's the first page. And then of course there's um, the pockets on each page. There we go. And then my middle page has two acetate pockets, another cute, cute little tilde holding presents. And then I have these two little plot tags on this side and then two on this side. And I believe these are dynamic dies. They're uh, a layered die set. And I put these little bows on top. And uh, again, the tilde is popped up so there's room to slide things back behind her. Um, more room for photos in here. And then the last two pages, um, I've got another real cute little birthday Tilda holding her little cake. And a little bit more lace and trim but I didn't want to embellish it too much because I didn't give much of a uh, gusset right there. And then there's room for a few more photos to slide in back here. And there's the back. So it's a very simple little mini album. 
Um, you know, we have lots of birthdays, so it's really not necessary to have a gigantic um, mini album for one particular birthday. And I thought this would be real cute for a little girl. So there it is. And the next item that I created um, would be something that would definitely go with um, the mini album as a little gift. And ta-da! Isn't it so adorable? I love altering little cakes. And I used the same paper collection. Um, this is like one of my favorite Tildes. Really, really, really one of my favorite Tildes. And um, little birthday girl holding a balloon. So, um, you know, I started by coloring up um, the image and, of course, picking the papers so I knew what colors to do her. And then I, pa I painted the boxes that went underneath. And um, you know what? I'm really not sure. I probably did make it so these won't open anymore. Um, <laughs> I think I did without even thinking about it. Let me see. Okay. Technical difficulties. Ah. Yep. I think I, yep. I'm going to have to do a little, just a little bit of altering to get this to open. But you can see there's room, there's, it's real pretty inside and a room for um, a little gift if you wanted to see what I did was I just glued my my flower to the bottom and I need to I really want to do this now so you can see how it really is um, everything doesn't work out perfectly and you can see that okay Ta-da! <laughs> there it is. All right. So real life just happened to me. And um, I just have a candlestick here as the base. And I put my pretty paper, I love this paper, at the bottom. And then here what I did was I had this white trim. Um, it's actually got white satin at the top. And then I layered the lavender and the peach colored trim. Um, I put pearls all the way around. And um, like I said, I papered the inside of the box. And I papered the top of this box. And there it is. And now it's not glued to the other box. <laughs> oh, let me go back over here because Tilda slides on right there. And ta-da, there she is. So yeah, I, I made a mistake, got it corrected. You even got to see it. <laughs> um, but anyway, those are my two projects for this week. I hope you like them. Let me know. You know I always enjoy hearing your comments. Please, please, please check out all the other fantastic designers. Um, the sponsors are a mile long. Check them out. Um, Nurse Laurel has a playlist on her channel. So you can go um, right over to her channel and it'll be linked in the description box down below. And um, you can click on the playlist and watch all the videos. Like I said, so many prizes you don't want to miss out. Let me know what you think of my crazy cake that you got to see the um, technical difficulties on and my little uh, mini album. And I'll see you guys next week. I've got something real special planned for you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.
Hi guys. Okay, keep asking me to do a coloring tutorial and I, I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to I'm going to try it. So, I'm just going to color my whole tilde face and skin tones with my E00. And that's how I how I start. I want to get Good coverage because I want my paper to be wet and then I'm going to add E53 around the edge of my tilde, um, the border of her where her bangs are and a little bit down onto her face. that and then I'm going to do more of a shadow here on her neck and her arm and her hand down here on her legs like that and then I'm going to take my E00 and I'm going to blend that you want to do it fairly quickly while your your darker color is still um, wet. So that's how she's looking. Then I'm going to take my V91, and this is a tip I learned from Miss Sybil B. She takes this. And it looks purple, but don't fret. You just really want to go around that basic edge where you want the darkest shading. Okay, then it looks like that and I'm going to take my E00 again and I'm just going to lightly blend that just I'm sorry about the shadow guys that's why I wasn't sure this would work but um, you guys keep asking for it so I was like well let me give it a try okay, and then I'm just going to go over the whole face so that's how it looks. All right, now I'm going to do the cheeks. And these are the three that I'm going to use. Um, RV00, RV02, and R83. So usually with the cheeks, I start with my lightest color. And I kind of go in a circular motion where the you know the freckles are and then I take my next lightest or the next darkest color and I color a spot in the middle of that and then I take my darkest color and I color a little spot in the middle of that so it looks like this then I take my lightest color again, and I just lighten up that, that dark spot. And there you go. So, okay. Um, I'm coloring up a, um, a violet colored tilde. And... Um, I'm actually going to do her hair first. And I'm going to take my Y00 and I'm just going to lightly flick down in her hair. Now, this is a wavy hair tilde. This is my most difficult hair color to do. I don't know why. It obviously has something to do with the waves. 
Um, but that's what I'm doing first. I'm adding the lightest color. So then I'm going to go with my Y21. And I'm going to flick down from where the hairline would be underneath that. Um, oh, what do you call it? Um, the bow. And then, of course, behind, I'm going to add some. And then at each one of the waves, I'm going to add a little bit of this darker um, yellow. And then right here at the, the bottom of the bangs, I'm going to kind of come up a little bit. So then we have that. Now I'm going to take my E53 and we use this on the skin tone. And I'm going to do the same things. I'm just going to flick up at where the bangs are. Um, wherever the hair shading should be darker, wherever it's closest to um, you know, where there would be some shading, like underneath that curl. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is probably not going to be great, but it'll give you a little bit of an idea. Um, you just, you don't want to use a lot. You're just going to kind of flick down here at the top. And you might even want to do just a little... Just a little small line. See how it's starting to look? I'm going to add a little bit more. Maybe I should try, and I will. I will try this again um, with some more um, tildes to see if I can find a way to make it work better. Okay, so there we go. That is what I'm going to do to her hair. Now I'm going to work on her on her clothes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try turning that light on and closing. safe maybe that works okay I gotta figure out what shade of lavender okay we're gonna go with V triple zero at first and where you have these pleats at the bottom is where you want to come up just kind of thick at the bottom and then flick up And these are not my techniques. I learned these on the internet by spending time on uh, different channels. So once I do that, I'm going to come around my edges. I'm going to color in my sleeves and I'm going to leave a little bit of white in the middle of that. And then I'm going to color my headband and my bow with this lightest color. Then I'm going to go with my V12. And I'm going to go on that same area where I had the, the other um, pleat. And then I'm going to come where I have these pleats up at the top. And then the skinny little border all the way around. Okay, so look how the dress is looking. 
starting to look good. And I'm going to color a little bit into the, the sleeve. I'm going to take my V triple zero and I'm going to blend that. And then I'm going to go over this darker color with my triple zero again to kind of make that look a little more natural. Okay, there we have it. All right, let's do the headband. We'll pull down. And then here in the back of the bow, we want a little darker. And then just here at the, the area next to the knot. Okay. And we're going to take our lighter color and blend that. On the headband, and that's how it looks. Um, we're going to color the balloon peach color. So let's go with R11. Um, I'm not as familiar with my peach colors because I don't use them very much. So we're going to color this balloon and leave kind of a white highlight like that. Oh. We'll go with RV23. Um, or wait. RV42 looks more like it goes with it. Okay, and then we're going to color up around the edges of the balloon. And leaving quite a bit of the lighter. And then we'll take our lighter and blend that darker. And then I'm going to take my zero, which is the colorless blender, and I'm going to just kind of go over all of that. And then just a light shading of the R11 again, and there's our balloon. Gives it the appearance that it's, you know, shaped. Um, now, the shoes, I'm going to leave those white, so what we're going to do, um, probably need that again, let's take my C0, and I'm going to do just a little bit of shading around the outside of the shoe and when you have stuff that's white it you have to add this little bit of gray to make it actually look white um, so then I'm going to take my C1 and just go around the outside of that just in a little bit of areas where it would be darker And I promise you guys, I am not the best teacher at this, so um, I definitely would recommend you search out some um, Copic coloring tutorials. So then I just took my colorless blender and I blended that little bit of gray that I added. And you can barely tell. Um, you can tell more. See if it'll focus. Nope. I'm 
actually going to add just a teensy bit more of the the C1 and see if you can see it better. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. So doesn't that shoe look more proper? Okay, so we're at 15 and a half minutes. It took us to color this little tilde. Um, that's about that's about right. It takes me about 15 minutes. Um, some of these other images that I've been working on um, take way longer. This is going to take way longer. Okay, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.